This video demonstrates how to use Photo Story 3 to make a Ken Burns Effect video for Ideal's Archives Alive project. Photo Story 3 is software for PC users that can be downloaded for free from Microsoft. The software allows you to use pan and zoom effects, otherwise known as the Ken Burns Effect, to feature significant parts of the document you have transcribed from DIY history. To get started, you need to compile all of the images you want to feature in your video, starting with the page you transcribed from DIY History. Open your letter in the DIY History Archive, right-click on the scanned image, and select Save As. Save the file in JPEG format. Make sure you save all of your images to the same folder. Include a title slide and a concluding slide that has your citations. You can use PowerPoint or another slide generating software to make these. To bring them into Photo Story 3, save the slides separately as JPEG images or take a screenshot or snip. Once you have compiled all of your images, open Photo Story 3 and click Begin a New Story. Select Import Pictures. You can also drag and drop JPEG images to the toolbar below. Be sure to import multiple copies of images that you want to pan and zoom across more than once. When you have all of the images imported, click Next. You'll be prompted to add text or titles, but do not add text or titles. Click Next again. If you want, you can type your script into the note box for each image. Now record your narration. Select Customize Motion to create motion by panning and zooming across the image. Tick the Specify Start and End Position of Motion box. If you're moving across two images of the same document, also tick the set start position to be the same as end position of the previous picture box. Size and position the boxes to create the start and end positions. Then click save and close. The start position you have defined determines what appears on the screen when your narration of the image begins, and the end position determines what appears as you conclude. Remember, when you move across the same image twice, you must have multiple copies of the image. Set the start and end position on each. You can use image editing software like Microsoft Paint or Photoshop to help you highlight portions of your letter. Note that this can't be done within Photo Story 3, so you must make the changes to the JPEG images that you import into Photo Story 3. If you found a photo or other relevant image through your research, it's a good idea to include it. And if other documents in the DIY History Archive help you better understand the rhetoric and history of your own document, you can include them too. Once you have set the motion for all your images, click on Next. Don't add music, unless you've found some that's royalty-free and relevant to your project. Click Next again. Save your story for playback on your computer. Save your final version as a WMV file. You can upload WMV files to YouTube. Your instructor will give you directions for sharing your project with the IDEAL website. Click Next at the bottom of the screen. It will take the software just a few minutes to turn your project into a video.